If you've solved a problem in your life, you're qualified to start a business. Not just any business, an education business, as one person with close to zero startup costs, with the knowledge you already have in your head, regardless of experience level. When people think of starting a business, the first thing that comes to mind to me is like startup culture. Like, oh, I want to build a startup. And so you have this crazy idea of a food app that shows you potential ideas for dinner, but then people don't realize that there's only a specific amount of restaurants in your area and you can find them on Yelp and being introduced a new restaurant isn't going to change that. So people try to come up with these crazy ideas that usually come after a night of drinking with your friends and you're like, oh my God, dude, this is a million dollar business that I want to do. And it ends up going nowhere because it's just a stupid idea to begin with and you lack perspective of what a business actually is and how to actually make an income doing one with your own interests, skills, expertise, and the problems that you have already solved in your life. Now, there are special cases to this, of course, but it's kind of just annoys me how much people glorify these insane, beautiful, pretty ideas online, and they get conditioned into this mindset, usually by their own doing and just consuming this internet content, that they feel like they have to come up with this crazy idea just to have a business. Now, there are special cases, as I said, where luck is just involved. People come up with a great idea, they execute on it, and they end up making it work, which isn't based on luck, but the idea itself and like things falling into place all at once and the universe conspiring in that person's favor, that is a very rare and lucky thing for them. And it's not wise to bank on that for your own success. It's not wise to gamble on your success. It's wise to invest smartly in your future with skill acquisition and be able to create a business that works. There's a reason people are making millions solving fitness, productivity, career, money, relationships, and lifestyle problems. Because every single person has them. Because they prevent the average individual from doing the only thing they want, enjoying life. What better and more profitable problem is there to solve than the one you experience every day? This is where my philosophy of solve your own problems and sell the solution was born. If you've gotten results in fitness, sell a fitness program. If you've gotten results in focus, sell a productivity course. If you've gotten results with a skill, sell a tutorial. The list goes on. If you haven't gotten any results in your life, if you haven't solved any problem in your life, which I highly doubt, then you're not qualified to start a business and you need to just get out of your mom's basement and start doing something with your life. Now, the common objection here is, Dan, everyone's selling an information product nowadays. It seems like a giant scam. So in a nutshell, this is just a lack of perspective. You don't have experience in the industry and you are judging it from the outside. You don't understand the inner workings of the industry. So you are filling in, in the blanks with the experience that you currently have, none of which is related to the actual information product market. And it also shows that you just don't understand business 101, which is sell what's already selling. Especially if you're just starting out, it's not wise to chase blue oceans and these opportunities that make it seem like there's no competition in the market. There's a reason for that. It's because people don't fucking want it. It's because money isn't flowing there and you think you're smarter than mother nature. The school system is failing. Education is the foundation of humanity. Creators are the decentralized school system. You complain so much about how insert any problem here needs to be taught in schools, but now that it actually is, with creators dishing out at that information, you call it a scam. And not to mention, it's given to you nearly for free, or at least at a fraction of the cost that it would take to get a college degree. Another thing that you don't understand here is that the schools can't teach that. Because the professors that are there, by nature of that job, don't have the results in that domain that leads to a better than average life. The creator economy is filled with sovereign individuals that have gotten results for themselves and are passing down the solution to help other people get results from someone, the creator, who's gotten results. Is that not the best education system possible? Is that not reality correcting itself from the lack of and the problems of the current education system to this one that is lying underneath your nose, but you spend your time distracting yourself with pleasurable memes and entertainment rather than educating yourself with a thing that's right in your hand. The only scam is you not taking responsibility for your future with the plethora of information available to you outside of schools. 
Now, before we get into like how to actually build in a profitable one person education business, we need to talk about imposter syndrome and feeling like you aren't good enough to actually do this. So the first thing is that people learn best from those that are similar to them. I used to think that fat personal trainers were a silly concept, but when I actually peeled back the layers and thought about it, I don't think that the average individual would want to be taught and trained by an Olympic bodybuilder or even some super fit guy who is probably neurotic about their health and unhealthy because of that. If the average person was to train with this super fit individual, the gap between where they are and where they want to be is so large, the anxiety and the overwhelm would make them quit early. But if they worked out with someone that was just one or two steps ahead of them, they would probably stick with it a lot more because one, they would relate with that person more. They understand that the other person is improving with them and it's less of a transactional nature of business and more of an accountability partner that is that you're just being paid for the value exchange there and the role that you're playing in that exchange. One person's playing the business, one is playing the consumer of the product that the business is providing. So in short, when entering the information market and building a one person writing business or education business, students get better results from the people that are one to two steps ahead of them. It doesn't matter if you aren't a productivity guru with a billion dollar company. It does matter if you can focus for two hours and help someone who can only focus for 15 minutes. Imposter syndrome is solved with honesty. Your marketing strategy should be solely based around where you are in your journey and exactly what you help others with. The industry has enough false and attention grabbing promises. In a market of extremes, if you want to be outstanding, all you have to do is be average. So we've kind of introduced the landscape here. I want to talk about why education businesses are the future of schooling and why is it why it is a good opportunity to get into and potentially bank your future on. This is a more secure path, although it's uncertain. Obviously, entrepreneurship is uncertain. That's what meaningful living is, is being constantly exposed to novel experiences. Entrepreneurship is the vessel to do that. Your ancestors were entrepreneurs serving their community. Robotic living inside of a cubicle, living out the same day, day in, day out is not safe or secure. That is the least safe and least secure path you can take, especially for your psyche and your mental health. So let's start with a clip from Sam Altman. I've been talking about the one person business for the longest time now, and I'm actually going to write a book about it, my next book, by my first book, The Art of Focus. But the one person business right now can make five to $10 million a year if you understand and utilize technology and use social media and the creator economy as your vessel to do that. Yes, there are other ways to do business. Are there other ways to do it as one person? I have difficulty believing so because social media audience is leverage. You don't need to pay for ads. You don't need this entire team. You just need to write content, build an audience, get to however many followers you want, sell a product that you don't have to fulfill much on digital product. And if you can gain one follower, you can gain a hundred thousand. If you can make $1, you can make a million. You don't need statistics to observe reality. The main pattern of reality is division and reunion, centralization and decentralization. In The Art of Focus, I illustrate the uncommon sense of the rain cycle. We all know it, but we often see it as a superficial process of life rather than an indicator of life itself. The ocean evaporates into divided droplets, reunifies in the clouds, divides into rain, and rain continues, dividing and reuniting in plant life, our homes, and more. This happens on all dimensions and scales of reality. In my prediction, backed by 4.5 billion years of evolution, the centralized school and economy are decentralizing thanks to the emergence of new technology. The internet, code, and now AI have allowed for the creator economy. This is comprised of one-person businesses educating, entertaining, and inspiring the masses while making thousands to millions a year doing so. The conventional education and employment path does not make sense anymore. Humanity needs education, but not some idealized and regimented form that antagonizes the wiring of our psyche and makes us hate learning. And learning is the one thing that fuels all areas of your life. From corporation to individual, yes, public schools are corporations, reality is decentralizing. Individuals who realize this can hop on one of the most profitable shifts in history. 
So there has been one problem in evolution that has been leading to this moment, and that massive evolutionary problem is labor work. From Aristotle, the objective of work is usually to sustain our lives biologically, an objective we share with other animals. But the objective of leisure can and should be to sustain other aspects of our lives which make us uniquely human, our souls, our minds, our personal and civic relationships. Leisure is therefore wasted if we do not use it purposefully. Work is a financial necessity, and finances are necessary for survival. Money is not to be demonized, but to be earned and used as a spiritual energy. That is, to solve your own problems, problems being the limits on your mind and other people's minds, allowing you to expand and transcend and evolve. So, you earn money purposefully by solving your own problems and selling the solution. You spend money purposefully by fueling and energizing those aspects of reality, not on wasteful objects and materials that aren't getting you really anywhere. Now, work and rest should not be seen as distinct opposites. They should be seen as complementary. Creative work is the future in a tech-enhanced society. Evolution is problem-solving to reverse entropy, and humans have been solving problems that make their life miserable since the dawn of time. We want to avoid suffering, so we built technology that allows us to do what nature calls us to do, pursue personal development, expand our sense of self, and do meaningful work that allows others to do the same. So the common objection here is that we need more construction workers and plumbers and labor workers. And I agree, but at some point, maybe in our lifetime, those jobs aren't going to exist. So should everyone bank on creative work as a way to bring meaning into their lives and make a sustainable income to sustain their survival? No. Should smart people? Yes. With the advancements in robotics and factories like Tesla being over 75% automated, I don't see why robots can't completely solve the problem that has plagued humanity for a long time. It also doesn't seem far off that we will have personal robots doing our laundry, cleaning our houses, and automating labor-intensive tasks so we can focus on creative work and self-actualization. Now, is everyone going to, like if, if everyone's work is handled for them, labor work, is everyone going to pursue creative work? No. Is everyone going to pursue self-actualization? No. Does that matter to you who is going to? No. Stop worrying about it. Because I'm sure some people are going to end up like Wally, where they're just mainlined Coca-Cola and are sitting in this lounge chair that's floating around and they're just like burning their eyes out with like dopamine channels on TV. But the thing there is, is that wise people who flow with nature can never succumb to that life. You know this. Once you've had that taste of self-actualization and flow, and meaningful living, there's no going back. You've reached that awakened point. You're awake, and it's very difficult to go back to sleep. Success is reserved for the creative. Your psyche craves creativity. It feels good to create. By all measures, creating something of your own lights your brain on fire. That is enough of a sign that humans are meant to do this. My proposed way of life is using the internet as a creative extension of yourself. Learn skills that can't be taught in schools. Solve your own problems for personal evolution. Get results that can't be achieved in employment. Put your personality on the internet to attract people like you. Help them solve their problems for collective evolution, earning meaningful, independent income doing so. This is not another dogmatic business model. This is a way of life. We're going to be talking about the creator philosophy and how money is a spiritual energy in the next video. If you want early access to that in the written version, join my newsletter. Now, I've written about this extensively in the One Person Business playlist on YouTube and my course to our writer on like the how to do this because this isn't just some like job opportunity that I can give you and repetitive tasks that I can assign you so you can just become a robot again. This isn't this is complex. This requires a complex mind to understand and achieve. It takes a lot of education and skill acquisition to achieve. That's why we have a 16 week program in Cortex University to guide you through the entire thing and give you a network of people that help you with your success. And in the context of this video, you need to know how to turn your interests or skills into an education business. So if you have a skill or you have an interest or you have something that you want to monetize or you follow people online and you say, oh, they're doing this. I want to do that too. This is what you can sell. Stop overcomplicating it. You can sell a tutorial or tutoring. So sell a beginner level tutorial of a specific skill, practice, or interest. Web design, building cars, Photoshop, guitar, music, Photoshop tutorials, I already said that, but things like that. You see people doing this online, they make money doing so. Second is selling a program or coaching. So sell an action plan or program that people can adopt as a daily routine. 
This includes fitness, productivity, self-improvement, etc. The third thing is selling a system, so consulting or freelancing. You sell a system that people can implement into their work or business, like lead generation, content creation, my writing frameworks, other things like that. Another thing to do here is to just reverse engineer what other people are doing. You don't need to be directly educated to learn. You can go and study people that are doing what you want to do. And since everything's available online in their links in the description and other things like that, you can go click on the links. Oh, why is the landing page structured this way? Oh, why did they write this headline this way? Why are they selling this kind of product? What are they selling? Can I make the same thing? Can I make it better? Uh, let's look at their social media content. How are they generating traffic to their profile? How are they gaining a following? How are they sending that traffic to the product so they monetize? Now, let's talk about arguably one of the most impactful laws that you will ever learn in your life or potentially a mental model to work less, earn more, and enjoy life. It is called Coe's Law, not to be confused with Cole's Law. The path to $1 million as one person working four hours or less. First, do not work more than four hours. Two, start with client work. Third, get results, make money. Fourth, build your audience. Fifth, productize your work. Repeat steps three through five until you reach one million. Then don't stop. That's just a general breakdown of what we're going to talk about right now. So we need to understand Coe's law, which states that work evolves to earn more in the time allotted for its completion. This demands creativity, growth, and skill acquisition to solve problems that prevent this evolution. We've all heard of Parkinson's law that work expands to fill the time allotted for its completion. With Parkinson's law, that's only the first layer. Your work expands to fill the time allotted for its completion, but your income doesn't. And most people think, okay, if I wanna earn more, then I have to work more, but that's not how evolution works. You have to change what you're doing. And the way I came about this is that the four hour workday has been a philosophy of mine for a long time. It's a chapter in my book. What people don't realize is that with technology, you can work that same amount of time while making as much money as you want. The problem is that people get trapped in business ideologies. They start as a freelancer. That's all they know. They bias freelancing above other models and complain when they can't escape the feast or famine cycle with just enough income to survive. Since they identify as a freelancer, their mind can't open beyond that to perceive opportunities that allow them to better leverage their skill set. They left their 9 to 5 to pursue freedom and created a new 9 to 5 for themselves. So let's break down how Coe's Law works in practical steps to evolve from $100,000 a year to $1 million a year. Stage one is starting with client work. As one person without an audience, client work is the best option. You can use manual client acquisition strategies and charge between $1,000 and $10,000 per client. You only need two to three clients to replace your income. In my eyes, it's best to skip the freelancer stage and go straight into the coaching, consulting, or tutoring as illustrated in the last section when I told you what to sell. Because education and teaching are pillars of the good life. It makes sense to integrate them in your work. And I've been seeing more and more as someone, Daniel Fazio, cold email wizard, actually said this on Twitter the other day, that he thinks most business owners need consulting over freelancing to begin with. And most creators and most sovereign individuals and people that are running the companies need that one-to-one -one education because that's just how work is flowing. I can't explain it too much right now. The decentralized nature of work where in, at Cortex, we don't have any employees. We have all contractors. With that decentralized work place, it makes sense that consulting is the best above all because one, they can train their team on it and it, it just makes sense. Go that route, I promise. So when doing this, when doing client work, your time is allocated as such in a four hour time frame. One hour per day prospecting for new clients, three to five hours per week on sales calls, two to four hours per week on client calls, one hour per day writing content for audience and clients, and the rest is filled with pour over from any of these. The key is to hold the intention of evolution in your mind so you don't get trapped in this stage. That's something that I see way too often. You get, you get trapped in a client business, you complain about how you don't have any time to do what you want, you don't focus more on content and digital products and you can't evolve because you aren't focused on the right things. So stage two in your evolution is to build an audience and evolve one layer. As a client business, you can only take on so many clients with four hours of work. And if you want to stay as one person, you need to identify the route that allows you to maintain that work without hiring employees. I've discovered this route for you so you don't have to go through years of trial and error. First is build an audience with writing. 
Don't waste time on video editing and graphics yet. Use writing on social media and a newsletter to build an audience. If you need an example of this, just look at my Instagram, LinkedIn, and X. That's what I do. I write. These videos are written newsletters before this. I'm a writer at heart. That's why I'm building Cortex, so you can do all of this stuff. The second thing is to use a new client model. This is important. So you create a program, tutorials, or curriculum and take on more clients in a group coaching setting. This brings your client work down to one to two hours a week. People don't understand this. Like you can change and manipulate the structure aside from what you were taught. If you were taught a specific way of consulting, which is like you have, you give them one call a week, you show up, you help them, you give them tasks at the end of it. That's it. You can change it. You can build a course and you can guide individuals through it to remove your time spent teaching and you can focus in more on a group of people. And now that you have an audience to fuel that and you have to rely less on manual outreach strategies, which saves you more time, ta-da, you just shaved off like 20 hours a week spent on client work because you decided to take a better route and evolve the work that you're doing. The third step is to evolve your fulfillment. So decrease pricing a bit, remove time suckers like one-on-one -on -one calls and introduce a group chat or community and attempt to restructure how you deliver to your clients without removing any value. Now, thanks to Coe's law, you've increased your earning potential from $100,000 per year to 300 to 500,000 while working the same four hours. So now you've evolved up one layer. You went from stage one client work to stage two hybrid model with an audience. And now you have to go to stage three, which is to productize with your audience growth. The main thing here, as you can see, is audience growth. That's why content creation is so important and nailing that as a skill in to our writer or Cortex University. That is the biggest problem in the space is that people just can't stay consistent or have good ideas and do things that result in good content. If you aren't growing on social media, then this isn't an opportunity for you. That's your number one lever. Stop focusing on other shit. Distribution equals freedom. Audience equals distribution. You can turn your client work into a digital product at any time for extra income and potentially more clients that needed to learn more before hiring you, but that won't be your main source of income at first. In this third stage, you first create a cohort-based program. You charge less, restructure time-consuming aspects of your work, and take on more customers. Thanks to your larger audience, you earn more than a group client model while working the same amount of time. Second is build a standalone digital product. Use your teachings and results from your client work to build a successful product. You build it once and it sells while you sleep, adding to your income. Third, you can leave client work if you want. You may see a dip in income at the start, but that newly allotted time is used to diversify platforms, increase revenue, and improve audience growth speed. Again, thanks to Coe's Law, you've increased your earning potential from $300,000 per year to 1 million plus per year. This is where rapid iteration comes into play. You must detach from manual labor and solely bank on your creative ability. This is the difference between an employee mindset and a CEO mindset. If you have clients, you are still the employee or contractor of those clients. So in this stage, your time is allocated to one to two hours per week, fulfilling your cohort program, two hours per day, writing content to fuel growth and one to two hours a day, building projects that take you even further. And then after this, you can build new products. You can branch out of the one person business or you can just enjoy life a bit until early retirement gets boring for you and you have the desire to work again and build something new and make more money. Because money, again, is a spiritual energy. Money is a tool to build what you want but doesn't exist. The people that think, oh, you don't have to continue making more money usually aren't going to find there's a key missing in their life. They can focus on and improve other things, but the urge to build is missing. That is the urge to help human evolution and contribute to humanity in a more broad sense, not just to your local circle, but on a universal level. That's called spirituality, business. And also at this point, you've built so much leverage and distribution that you can sell whatever you want. This is why I'm building a software. This is why I plan to write three books by the end of next year. That's it for this video. If you're looking for more, because frankly, for the right person that watched this video, this did give you 100% a roadmap to get from zero to $1 million a year. If that doesn't make sense to you, you need to go watch my other videos so you can fill in the gaps because it's, this is a com complex topic. It isn't as simple as, Hey, I'm going to give you a 30 minute video and you're going to make a million dollars. You have to spend majority of your time right now, soaking in information and building along with it. You have to binge watch like 
50 to 100 hours of content and build along with it in the real world in order to see those results. So that's it for this video. If you want more of my philosophy on how to work less, earn more, enjoy life, purchase my book or audiobook, The Art of Focus on Amazon. You can also get to our writer, learn a high value skill, get digital economics, masterclass for building a brand, Cortex University, 16 weeks, become a synthesizer. That's it. Subscribe, comment, have a good day.